All right, guys, we just rolled into the job for the day. We got a new piece of equipment on the job. Got some modifications on no piece of equipment. It is the middle of April and it is freezing. There's frost on the ground this morning. But uh, yeah, let me spin you around. I'll show you what we got. All right, guys, Matt's over there getting the dozer greased, and behind it, we may have a new piece of equipment to video over there, but this is the project for the day. A couple of buddies of mine own a company called Deer Creek Customs, and they're building a new shop. It's going to be 60 by 120. They do a lot of, the, they do a lot of similar work to what like Junior the SOT Metalworks do, but they're probably a little heavier on the industrial maintenance side of stuff. But uh, that's near here or there, so this building here has to be raised up out of the floodplain. So back there, it's got like almost 10 or 12 feet of fill. They've actually started on this project and uh, had, the, had the old dump truck and the little tractor over there. Kind of gave up on it and called in reinforcements. Uh, so, uh, yeah, here we are. But they got uh, access to this uh, river run rock, which is really good stuff for a uh, base and it's economical to use. They've got a few lifts in there. We come in here and dump this top lift in here the other day. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the dozer and uh, run grade off on this and then once we get the grade ran off on it we're going to come back and uh well here i'll go ahead and show you we'll just jump up over the hill and uh, show you once we get grade ran off with the dozer we're going to come back with that beautiful piece of machinery we rounded up over there that's right vibratory smooth drum roller and uh compact it compact it very well and then we're going to come back with the skid steer and the grader attachment and run grade on it now why don't I use the skid steer and just shove all this off and not mess with the dozer? Well, there's a couple reasons. One, I want a dozer. Two, last I checked, the skid steer does not have tilt or angle, which comes in very handy in situations like this. Three, this stuff's kind of hard on rubber tracks. It's not so hard on steel tracks. And uh, four, I'm just better on a dozer than I am a skid steer, and I'm not gonna lie about it. It's, it is what it is. So we're gonna take the dozer get it close then we'll take the skid steer and get it perfect that sounds like a plan let's get started it's been a while since we ran the little old dozer i'm excited about it
Yeah, the batteries. No, 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 And no. then I did my math backwards. Huh, that seems to be right on the money. No, it's a little, a little, a little high until I get down in your track. You gonna explain? I just explained. I did my math backwards. No. <laughs> I told him it's gonna be three inches below the concrete. He sent me three inches above the concrete and tried to tell me I was six inches off. I gave you in two reality, marks. In reality, somebody above. eyeballed it pretty close. You eyeballed it really close. <laughs> All right, guys, we got that all buzzed in with the dozer. I think what our plan is at this point is I'm gonna hop on the skid steer and uh, kind of backfill and do some tedious work around those piers there. And I'm gonna turn Matt loose on the old Dynapack Jewel here and uh, let him get that all beat in. Let's see if I can even figure out how to operate this thing. I guess then uh, on, is it on? Oh, I think that's on. Oh, cages are moving. Make sure we don't move. Will it start? give you a crash course even though i have absolutely no idea how to operate this thing okay so forward reverse for starter it's a roller yeah i see the roller <laughs> this is your main power on off so that's on emergency situation got it this is your key yeah, we've started oh, okay. all your gauges mm -hmm. that's your throttle okay this is the parking brake is that a spin throttle or a pull throttle it's you pull it up and you spin it to lock it okay uh this is your blade control and this is where you turn the vibratory roller on and this is forward reverse and be careful because i think it'll start in forward and take off okay and it likes to beep all right and when you say this engages the roller it engages the vibratory part okay and i don't need that you do need that i do need that yeah okay so fire and hole yeah there don't hit my truck pull the lever yeah, or push the lever. <laughs> yeah. <It's> a... <laughs> There you go. It does start and move. It does. We're on a roll. See what she's got. This 
stuff does compact pretty good. the skid steer and uh clean up around these piers and a few other things and hopefully we'll be good to go i don't know if you guys can see out there matt's got the old roller going to town it seems to be it seems to be pretty good it's close to the shape and probably get made for under flux out i'm trying to get just kind of get uh filled in around these piers a little bit uh, I can be a little more gentle with the skid steer. Once we get back in pipe and get back built in around these piers, we'll uh, come back and put the greater adjustment on the come back and put the greater adjustment on the skid steer here and go to go to town and get uh, get grain on all this. But uh, yeah, check it back in here in a minute. We're getting there. Alright guys, we got it all compacted in, it turned out really nice. We got the uh, plate compactor out, he's going around the uh, piers, getting those nice and solid. And then what we can't get with the roller, the, uh, the roller will work good, but uh, we got some battery charging issues we're going to have to uh, figure out. But it's going to get us to this job and then we'll go uh, see what we got going on. But uh, yeah, man, she's got, uh, she's got some vibratory to her, I'll say that much. Alright guys, we got this thing close, relatively close, so Matt's doing a final pass of the old compactor over there. It's doing pretty good. So let me show you what we got going on here. A few modifications on the old uh, grader attachment. One, I put me a level on down here so I can tell what the level is. And I made me a spot. I got uh, a bolt, nut, jam nut there. That way I kind of, I got a little bit of adjustment in that. I also got different spots I can put it on there. But I got my laser indicator I've had for years. We're set on the green line right there. Hopefully it'll work. I had this set up on a dozer one time before and I sold the dozer. So I uh, set it up on this. Let's start running some grade and see what happens. All right guys, here's what we got going. I got my laser out there. You can probably hear it beeping. I'm running off uh, total sound on that thing. So I don't have to look at it. So I can watch my level down there trying to go through and just get this right on the money. If a guy goes slow enough, takes his time, and is patient with it, you can get her just where you want it to be. Oops, you hear a beep there with a beep change? That's how I know I was getting a beep slow like that, I'm too hot. If he was fast, I'm too low. My laser's actually upside down. Matt's out there walking around with a great rod. He's just occasionally checking me, seeing where I'm at. And this pad I got back here behind me. Perfect. 
Nice. Right, guys man this setup is working awesome uh just taking your time going easy makes it a little hard to grade whenever you're grading riprap but uh, for the most part we're doing good so the way this building is going to be set up the first 35 feet of it which is basically to that pier it's going to have four inches of concrete then because it's going to be a retail store from that pier back it's going to have six inches of concrete so right here at this pier we're going to paint a line all the way across and we're going to drop our grade two inches to compensate for that uh, extra two inches of concrete so we uh we got this first half it's nice we really like the way it turned out uh we're going to switch grades do the back half and i'll probably put the bucket back on just to kind of fill in around these piers and uh, tweak that a little bit but uh, it's working well ain't it it's working great on these pieces of riprap you're <laughs> yeah, well, it's hard to grade riprap only string we got is a chalk line. They would just chalk a line and call it good. I think that'd be great. Let's do it. <laughs> you had to pull it tight, the wind's blowing it. No. I bet you, I wonder if we can actually chalk a line and then paint it. That's why I asked. Do you want me to paint your chalk line or do you want to chalk it first? Chalk it. Pull it tight and chalk it. I've never. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> the line broke. <laughs> All right, uh, chalking was a big fail. You want so. A solid uh do solid in case we lose it no following what we're going so we're painting just paint straight don't grade my straightness don't screw it up you had one of them walking handles <laughs> <laughs> all right it's on the must get list the wish list all right we're gonna change our grade and go at it all right, we got our line painted here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make about three passes going this way. So I'll have a level base on grade and then I can back up without getting into my offset there. We'll carry everything that way. I don't let's, know if it's going to work or not. Let's make we'll sure try. we make one other point. We're building cabinets out of dirt. Our tolerance is plus or minus a quarter of an inch. <laughs> hey, man. Got to have it right. It's a lot of concrete gainer lost over the distance of this thing.
right, guys, with this point in the day, we were kind of figuring out a few tricks to this thing. And the obvious trick is uh, this thing's not a bulldozer. It's a grader attachment, and it does really good at grading, but it is not going to move massive amounts of material. So my suggestion to anybody, and what we end up figuring out, is you need to get your grade probably within about two inches, kind of depending on how big of a pad or how big an area you need to be. Uh, that way you can just kind of put this thing on grade and run with it, and you're not trying to uh, pick up and actually carry carry material off. Um, like I said in the beginning of this video, I used a bulldozer to do that. I just find it easier, and it was available. Uh, I'm sure if somebody had more skills on a skid steer, uh, they could do it just as fast and just as easy with a skid steer. Uh, but the dozer worked well for me for the amount of material we had to push and run and grade in. Uh, it's just kind of what I'm accustomed to. But once you get that grade relatively close, the next thing is is just uh, taking your time, uh, going pretty going pretty easy, just kind of really watching everything. That way you don't dig a hole or uh, have to come back and fix stuff here. I'm trying to actually get a little bit of material around these piers here, and I'm um, probably would have been better off with a skid steer bucket at this point, to be honest with you. But it's it's working out. I'm trying. I'm learning. I'm trying to figure out what its capabilities are and what we can and uh, can and can't do with it. But it. Um, it worked great like i said get the grade relatively close uh, then once you get it relatively close uh, you can come back with this thing and buzz it off if you just kind of uh, kind of take your time i would say in real time this was a 60 uh, by 120 pad with a split grade start to finish we probably had a little over two hours uh, running grade on this thing uh, knowing what i know now we probably could have cut that time in half we were just kind of experimenting learning and, and figuring it out as we go uh, but uh, definitely going to be a very handy setup, and uh, glad I finally took the time to. Uh, sometimes you need a job like this to uh, have the motivation to actually make these improvements, and uh, glad glad this job job come along. I uh, got the improvements made to it, and I'm sure you guys will be seeing it in the uh, future for sure. So let's get this thing wrapped up. All right, guys, there it is. There's our line where we switch grades. This is all buzzed off. That's all buzzed off. I'm going to take the grader attachment off. Our improvements worked awesome. They worked great. Uh, worked really well. Take the uh, grader attachment off. I'm going to put the bucket back on. We're going to come back and get in between the piers with the bucket and the shovel. I'm going to help Matt out with that. And uh, then we'll, once we get all this 100% done where we like it, we'll uh, clean up around the outside edges around here but uh boy it's looking nice and of course we'll roll it one more time just so it looks pretty and professional all right bye bye greater attachment let's go set you off
details we've got are all in between the pans uh got everything buzzed off on gray looks pretty good you can kind of see our transition right there matt's gonna hop on the roller we're gonna go ahead and roll this one more time while he's rolling it i'm gonna hop on the dozer clean up around the outside we'll do a quick once over we call this one good it is looking good for this material we had to work with uh very pleased with the way this is turning out Finishing touches on, um, compacting around those edges. We're getting around these piers real good, so everything's uh, everything's good to go there. You can't really see our transition no more because we rolled across it. But uh, yeah, man, it looks good. The uh, improvements on the grader work great. The roller worked pretty good, except for one small electrical issue we had with the battery. We got that fixed. It didn't have us down for long. So uh, yeah, I had to use. Uh, I had to use a barrel or a tripod because the uh, tripod to cap the clean makes me find up being too short. <laughs> you wouldn't get the laser up high enough to where the skid steer could read it. So we improvised with the barrel, but it ended up working great. We didn't have no issues, but uh, yeah, guys, there it is. We're loading up, heading out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.